So, no, I, I wouldn't say I have a passion for HR. Welcome back to Human Resources for the People. It's a human capital revolution. Am I going to lose my job? Today we're going to be talking about that and chat GPT. You know, uh, the chat GPT has come by storm. And I'm using this Fast Company article from Jesse Meschuk uh, to sort of guide the conversation today in this short video. But uh, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. You know, we've uh, there's been a lot of concern around chat GPT and the rest of the AI. And I think that it's definitely going to have its place, but it's for me, it's a matter of how quickly it can come up to speed to specific models. I mean, ChatGPT combs the web and is able to create a lot of things, uh, you know, by by combing the web, you know, on a massive scale that you can you've never seen before. But what happens when the knowledge base is really small and there isn't a lot of information? I think that's where things get interesting. Uh, so. Let's talk about it uh, a little bit today. Um, you know, I think that there are, you know, consistent with this uh, with this article, about three places that I think might be a good place for HR uh, and Chat GPT, and we'll talk about it. Uh, you know, they they're used to you know comb the collective body of the internet. And one of the great things that Chat GPT can do, as long as it's not, um, you know, uh, uh, site specific or company specific, is manage job descriptions. You can have them quickly write a job description uh, that is uh, perfect for the role. And I think that these sort of things that require a significant amount of thought, detail, and um, and, and sort of involvement are pretty good uses of it. Uh, in addition, you know, you can benchmark information on salary ranges and benefit offerings, but they really need to, there would need to be a lot more um, improvement on the accuracy as well as the ability to, uh, you know, write naturally and, and create everything because, you know, this... This person notes that they asked for a salary range of an HR director in Los Angeles for a $1 billion to $3 billion technology firm. It was low, and that's exactly right. And the problem is that you can't, you know, you can't really just feed off chat GPT when you make these decisions. So there has to be some knowledge behind it. And as, as many know, chat GPT is, is old, right? And so this knowledge will have to be, it's, it, you, I think you can only go back to 2019. So this knowledge would be, you know, sort of dated at this point, right? Anything with respect to salary that's now four years old is just, you know, frankly, not that useful. Um, beyond that, you could do more with HR tasks and employee self-service. But again, the issues with that is that, well, there are two that I see, frankly, uh, this, you know, uh, the problem is that you still have a whole class of employees that are nowhere near this and frankly aren't, you know, capable of using uh, the internet in any meaningful way. And as a result, it's, it's really, uh, sort of useless. You know, a lot of times you cut back the HR department only to simply, uh, only simply to have them handle people who don't even know how to access their email. And these people are necessary. They're important to the operation of the business, but you, they don't know how to operate their email. And so it, the expectation to go online is, is still not quite there yet. Uh, this will change going uh, further. And the last one that I want to highlight that I do like that, that this author writes um, is that performance management and real-time feedback. So it would be a great idea to sort of use it to check on performance improvement plans, have it check on things like that, and look to see if they see anything that is questionable. And really, you know, I had, an I had a manager a while back that 
uh, was older. He was in his 70s, and he was referring to one of his employees who was also in their 60s. And he said in his review something like, you can't um, teach an old dog new tricks. And he wasn't being rude. He wasn't intentionally being rude at all. But that was, if you could sort of send this through chat GPT to check these sort of things, that would be a great use of the uh, of the system and, and the function overall. So is my job going away as as the article or as my you know click by title uh, goes? Potentially, a lot of lower level HR jobs will probably go away as a result of chat GPT and the the jobs that will remain are the ones that can take jet chat GPT harness it and then and then improve their own response times and customer service overall going forward and that's what it really means so is my sort of higher level job going wait no not really not likely could could some lower level jobs go away absolutely and that's what you might see uh, that's it for today on human resources. What do you think about people. today's Make video? Sure you like, Please share, and subscribe. Uh, comment down Are you below. worried about the next like, uh, about share, the future? And subscribe. Let me know really in the comments down below. And Have I'll a good see you day. on the next one. And see you on Bye the next guys. one. Bye guys.